Once again, it's time to answer the burning question, can a radio station from the 27th biggest market in America, Cincinnati, really compete in the Billboard Magazine's awards program? Good morning, my name is Mark Hubbard. I'm the general manager here at Q102. And I thought I would take this time to put together a tape to show you what we've done for Cincinnati and what we've done to make us competitive for the Billboard Award this year. But we're trying something very, very new. We're not just going to show you what we've done in, in all of the uh, clipped and edited videotapes. I wanted to show you the people that work at Q102 because one of the things I think that makes us special is that we have a great environment, that people really enjoy coming to work, and this is a very special place day in and day out, year in and year out. So I'm going to move on to our people and let them tell you about Q102, Cincinnati's number one radio station. But you know, the thing that strikes me most about this radio station is when I talk to my friends that work in other businesses, and I always try to find out what they do for a living, and they ask me about my job, and I can't think of a single person I'd trade jobs with anywhere, anytime, anyhow, in any profession. This is the most fun I've ever had working in my life, and I get paid for it. So I'm looking forward for a good new year this year, 1985. My name is James Lewis Stapmiller, but more often and mostly often, and all the time, I'm called Squirrel. It's my nickname. I've had it for about 20 years since I first went to college, and it's stuck with me. And the reason it's stuck with me is because I've made it stick. I've been at Q102 five and a half years now. What I like best about the station is the station's hot. The station has a pulse of what's going on in the city and what's going on in the county and what's going on in the world. If there's something going on, whether it's funny or not, we'll usually talk about it. And if it is funny, we'll make even more fun out of it. I also especially remember my birthday. I got to celebrate my 39th birthday this year on Q102 on the radio from 7 to 10 in the morning, and it was great. It was probably the best birthday I've ever had, probably the best birthday I ever will have. And every time I go somewhere, wherever I am, I run into people who say they listen to, to Q102, they listen to uh, Squirrel's birthday on Q102, and that was probably uh, the highlight of 1984 for me at the radio station. I'm Mary Lucan, and I'm the assistant to the sales department here at Q102. I generally do a little bit of everything. I work on proposals, put packages together, organize things. Most outstanding in my mind has got to be Monty Hall, which was an assignment that just sort of snowballed onto my desk and was one in which I lost eight pounds in seven days. It was controlled chaos and looking back on it, it was fun. I enjoyed it a lot and have great stories from it, particularly having our general manager lift me up by the back of the jumpsuit I was wearing and saying, Mary, come here, in the midst of all the, all the confusion. In 1984, Q102 brought the Monty Hall Show to town. 8,000 listeners dressed up in the craziest outfits imaginable and won over $20,000 in prizes. Hi, I'm Terry Miller, the business manager, and I really don't have time for this. Hi, I'm Scott Shively. I'm the news director at Q102. I cover the news. <laughs> Get it on the air, hopefully. Hi, I'm Ann Goyne, and I'm an account executive at Q102, and the thing I remember most about 1984 is when we got our 10 share in the last rating book, because um, when you're an account executive, numbers are very important, along with promotional things, and we were already the best promotion station in the market, I think, so with a 10 share on top of that, it was real easy going the rest of the year, and it's a lot of fun. Are we on the air? <laughs> This, this is radio, not television. Is this going? Yeah. All right, you tell me when. I don't know what I'm doing. What are you, you guys? Say? What are you gonna say? I don't know what I'm going to say. I'm going to say, name? my name is Sally Satterthwaite, or I'm Sally Satterthwaite from q and the Town Executive. Over 40 balloons rose above the horizon of downtown Cincinnati in this year's Q102 Great Cincinnati Balloon Race, with all proceeds going to Youth Incorporated. I mean, 
mean, no, I start flaking out. I don't even talk about that. <laughs> Sally, just say, I'm so excited. No. Because I'm the worst. I've never wanted to even go to Bozo when I was a little kid today. Practice one, I'm so excited. I don't even know if I can do it. Do it one time. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I can say I can't even do it. Okay, get up. You just did it. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm Catherine Bear, account executive at Q102. The thing I remember most about Q102 is the day I was hired this summer. Tim McNerney, the sales manager, took me to Coney Island. This was part of my interview. And here I am standing in a suit, and there are th thousands of people in bathing suits, and I'm in a business suit. And it was just packed, and I thought, wow, if Q102 can draw like this, that's the station I want to work for. Q102 Pepsi Day at Old Coney Sunlight Pool, a private pool party for 10,000 of our friends. I'm Barbara Bradley, I'm the assistant traffic director here at Q102, and the sales guys drive me crazy. Hi, my name is Brian Yee from the Q102 sales staff, and probably the best thing that happened to me this year was uh, being back in Cincinnati from exile in Buffalo, and Q102 helped me do that. Even better than getting married? Well, that's a hard one. My name is Brink Guthrie, and I'm the uh, production director here at Q102. Um, I, very, I don't know very many people that uh, love to come to their job every single day of the year. Um, but that's the feeling I get. I've been here for a while, started out uh, just answering the request line uh, once a week, and I've gradually worked my way up. And uh, every, day is a, every day is something new and a new challenge, and uh, I enjoy it every single day. And I don't know anyone else, anyone else that, uh, that can say that. Uh, in fact, I'd almost pay them to work here. Well, I do, sort of, no, not really. But uh, it's a great challenge, and uh, the people here are uh, among the best that I've ever known, and it's just a real privilege and a uh, pleasure to be here. So you don't want your raise next year? No, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. The talk of the town, Q102's Money Box, high atop Riverfront Coliseum. Two lucky listeners guessed the contents and won $10,000 each. Hi, I'm Michelle Hazemaller. I work for um, Q102, and what I do there is part programming and part research. And the reason I love to work there is because it's just like everybody's one big happy family, and you do stuff together not only at work but outside work, and it's just a really good time. Does anybody give you any gas? Gas? Yeah. No. <laughs> everybody's nice? Everybody's nice. I love everybody. It's just great. Do they like you? I hope so. <laughs> if they don't, I'm in trouble. Hi, I'm Janine Coyle, and I do middays here at Q102. And what was memorable about this year was we got a Christmas bonus this year. It was great. No, that was, that was real nice, too. It's our annual Q102 Second Street Paps Party, with over 75,000 listeners having a great time and $25,000 going to Big Brothers and Big Sisters. I gotta make sure my throat's <clears> that I'm capable of talking. Too much wants and sex. That's what it is. Um, what is this for? This is, this is a videotape we're sending to Billboard magazine for the <laughs> presentation. It won't be shown on TV or to any of your friends. Okay. All right, okay. go ahead, just please tell who you are. Um, I'm Sheila Can Poling. I'm the traffic manager. And what impresses me most about the queue is the family type atmosphere around here, the people. And just like in families, you have to give and take. And as you could tell, people give me colds and I take them. Uh, Dave Allen, music director at the queue. Uh, I guess the, the big thing about 84 is just that the station was so strong uh, the entire year. And I think it comes from that synergistic effect of all of us uh, having fun at the radio station, and it eventually makes it to the air. Thousands of listeners attended on the banks of the Ohio, the first annual Q102 River Rally, and anything that floats race. What about me driving through and hearing the station yeah, for the first time? Yeah, that'd be a great story. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I, was, I was driving to Pennsylvania from where I was working in Oklahoma, 
uh, in late 1983. And as I was driving through Cincinnati, I never knew this station even existed. And it just jumped out of my radio. So I said, that's a station that I'd like to work at because the energy was just so high and it sounded like uh, everybody was having so much fun. So uh, I just tried for about a year to, uh, to try to get a job here. And finally in June, I became the music director and uh, it's just been great ever since. Hi, my name's Tim McNerney and I am the sales manager here at Q102. Um, <laughs> that's it? Oh, you want me to go? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi, I'm Tim McNerney. I'm the sales manager here at Q2. <laughs> I'm the all-important morning drive, Miss Doggy. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Thank you. That, I'm, stick a fork in me. I'm done. Uh, did, are we supposed to say our names here at the beginning? Or you, uh, I didn't know. I didn't, well, I didn't know if we were, you know, this is going to be fancy, you know, have our names on the bottom or something. Like Peter Jennings gets that. Why don't I get that? Okay. I'm Chris O'Brien. I do the morning show, the Q Morning Zoo on Q102, and I've been here uh, off and on for about 10 years, with the exception of two years of work in Chicago. And uh, in fact, I got an offer to go to Chicago a few months ago, and they made me a big offer to stay here, and that's why I'm still here. I'm Tom Oliver. I'm one of the engineers here at the station. Uh, I've been here 10 whole days, one of the newest members, and I'm sure glad to be here. Okay. I'm Barbara King. I'm secretary to Q102's Vice President General Manager, Mark Hubbard. Hot Fun Radio, Q102 Hot Fun. It's exciting and it's fun. Just ask me, I've been around it for 32 years. What's the best thing that's ever happened in 32 years here? Working for Q102. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to be Vice President and General Manager of a number one rated FM station in Cincinnati. You got it. <laughs> Anything else? Do you need anything? Come on in. No, that's all right. I was going to talk to Mark. Oh, come on in. We're not rolling. Oh. We're, I'm thinking. But you're now a chief. Chief, chief. It's it's nice to be chief of the uh, number one rated uh, radio station in Cincinnati. You're done. That was simple. That's all I took. No, I took more than that. Let's go more. Keep it rolling. Let's <laughs> go Okay. Are we still rolling? Yeah. It's good to be chief. What does Mel Brooks say? It's good to be. What's that movie? Blazing Saddles. Oh, it's good to be the king. Yeah. You know when the girl steps over and her pop out. Uh, okay. Are we done? Yeah. Okay. Well, as you can see, Q102 is a great place to work. Everybody here has fun, including the general manager. Where else could you come in, read the newspaper, go to lunch, go out and play golf? Next year, I'm even going to get good at the game, I think. But this is a terrific place to work. And until I worked in rock and roll radio, where else could an MBA from Wharton do this kind of thing during the day? The mark only one went up. Oh, gee, this is probably the one we bought from New York or Los Angeles. If we bought it from Cincinnati, it would have worked. Let's try it again. Only one station plays the hits all the time. Q102. Not hard rock and not boring. Just the hits all the time. Q102.